This is Dapu7. want to share with you guys a story by Susan Duclos over here at All News Pipeline. Down detector showing yesterday that there were many people reporting in places from California, New York, New Jersey, Washington, Arizona, Texas, and other states saying that their EBT cards, which are similar to an ATM or debit card to receive or use their food stamps, they would not reload with their monthly welfare funds. Now, there are an average of 44,391,000 people. And that was last reported in February of 2016, which are on this system, also known as SNAP. Now, over at Down Detector, all kinds of people are reporting the issue. Now, this doesn't show the scale in real numbers because not everybody knows that they can go to Down Detector to complain. So, let it be known that Down Detector is a spot that you can go to and see what other people are saying if you're in a situation where something's down, whether it's your bank or a situation like this with EBT. But some would say, well, it, it's been coming anyway. And there's a long list of people here that were complaining saying that they had never received anything now back in 2013 there were EBT users threatening Rodney King style riots when the EBT systems crashed for just one weekend now if this was to drag out for say a week or two who knows what we're gonna see what's interesting is I looked into this went over to down detector. You can see Snap EBT here. And it states that from yesterday they had fixed the issue. But then another issue popped up today. It says resolved issues from earlier this morning. Problems at Snap. You can see the problems here. 93% of payments. But if you look once again, they're having issues at 8.49 p.m. EDT. So it's ongoing still. All the way up to within this past hour. So just wanted to give the heads up. This is where it sits, and this is a good place to check to see what's going on with certain things. I'll leave a link in the description box. It's been Dabu7. Hi, Shalom. I would like to give praises to you. How will Bahashimi how shy? Double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone. Salutations to the brothers pushing this truth and sincerity. And now, um, as you can see, uh, the Snap EBT down. <laughs> People in multiple states can can't get food card funds, refunds. So they have an, um, a, a problem, a difficulty problem with they um they EBT cards not getting re um refunded you know what I'm saying like money cash ain't going on the cards they're trying to put cash back you know people that's like millions of people got stamps they're trying to put like money on the cards but it's not really you know what I'm saying it's not really uh inactive right now so this this is basically part of this finna be a famine basically and um a lot of these Americans gonna bug out when when it ain't no food and then it it's gonna it's gonna trickle down to America from Venezuela so what we'll makes you think um, Venezuela don't have no food? So America basically is on, on its way to famine, man, because it's going to be a lot of killings. It's going to be a lot of robberies going on. It's going to be a lot of, um, then last but not least, it's going to be cannibalism. So, so yeah, um, Jake mainly, you know what I'm saying, like to eat. So when these cards are on their way to get shut down, so... People that really don't want to, basically don't want America to end. And um, due to the spirit of Yahweh Bashima Shai, through prophecy, America is going to end. And it's in its last stage. So, and then for those like the Jakes, you know, they really, they really uh, are people that really depend on the government more than they depend on the Most High Himself. They, 
happening, you know what I'm saying? Depend on your house shot, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, the Lord, the Lord of Lord, King of Kings. So without the Lord, how can you have your daily bread, you know? So you depending on the Egypt, basically, you know? So I'm going to hit that scripture real quick. <laughs> I'm going to go to Isaiah chapter 30 verse uh, 1 alright say woe to rebellious children who is rebellious children Israel man our people Jake because they rebel man they rebel against the most high and they rebel against the truth man Right, it says, "Save the Most High, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. That they add, that they may add sin to sin. So basically, see, so basically, instead of taking all uh, counsel of the Most High, y'all taking counsel of um, the so-called white man, man, which his his kingdom finna um collapse. This this whole con economic, this re basically." The, the whole economics finna collapse and this just happened what a couple days ago well today the seven well yeah today the eighth so this happened a couple days ago so recently billions and billions of people is pissed off because they um and they 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 complaining you know what I'm saying this happened like over 22 hours ago so this just happened you know I'm going to read it one more time. Say, woe to the rebellious children. Where woe means destruction. Right? It say, saith the Lord, that make that take counsel, but not of me. It's talking about you jakes, man. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. Right? You don't cover with the most high spirit, man. Y'all cover with y'all cover with the covering of yourselves, man. Y'all believe in the American dream, which is going to be a fucking nightmare, you know? So, it say, that they may add sin to sin. So all the sinning and the wickedness that y'all um actually doing, the Lord's gonna pay y'all a visit, man. You know, through famine, through um uh martial law, um race wars, and top it all off, um missiles, right? Um that walk to go down into Egypt and have not axed at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Right, y'all trust in the shadow of Egypt, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all trust in this um society. Y'all trust in this um this um, this American life, man. You know, that walk to go down into Egypt, right? Y'all go, y'all go to the uh, y'all go to the welfare office. Y'all go to the um, you know the um, how can I how can I put it? Yeah, welfare office, and you know, and you know, get your EBT cards. You know, your your WIC. You know. You know, and uh, all that's gonna get cut. You know, what I'm saying in a matter in a matter of time, it's gonna get cut. You know, and have not asked at my mouth, right? Y'all don't pray to the Most High, man. Y'all don't. Y'all really don't know the name of the Most High. Y'all praying to Jesus and God. And, you know, what I'm saying that's a title. You know, the real name is Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai. But the Lord raises men up to bring the truth out for the elect, basically. You know, and a one third. So you two thirds, y'all gonna get cast away. You know. With Esau and with this American dream that y'all assume to have, you know, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, right? Y'all strengthen yourself in the strength of Pharaoh. Who is the Pharaoh today? The presidents, the um, the legislative speakers, and um, and uh, and the senates, all them, man. Y'all trusting them, man, instead of trusting in the Lord, man, because they finna lose their power, man. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt, the shadow of Egypt is who America. America is the only um the only thing that's um popping right now, man, as far as Egypt, man, because you know, America based on they got Egyptian um tendencies. Faggots, homos, the phallic symbol, you know, the pyramid on the dollar. That proves this is Egypt all over again. So Lord gonna destroy this place, man. You know? Verse three say, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. The word confusion, let me see what the word confusion means. Goes back to the Hebrew word, Kel Imal, 
means disgrace, reproach, shame, confusion, dishonor, insult, ignominy. Insult, reproach, reproach, ignominy. It's going to be your shame. It's going to be your dishonor. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be your insult. So Egypt, which is America, basically is saying that it's going to be your shame. And it's all a fraud, man. You know, America is basically a fraud, man, because y'all... Y'all trust in this wicked society. Read it one more time. Say, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh, which y'all vote, y'all voting, y'all think y'all count, y'all y'all thinking y'all folks count and all this shit, which it don't, it don't, it ain't gonna map up to nothing, man. Be your shame. You will know why it's gonna be your shame because y'all voted all y'all lives and y'all trust in this American society. And plus, it's all, a, it's basically it's all a fraud and lies, man. You know, it's, it's all a hoax, you know. All right, they say and trust in the shadow of Egypt. Uh, and, uh, it's like, yeah. Trust in in the shadow of Egypt. Your confusion, man. Cause <laughs> basically, man, this is all confusion, man. Cause most of the Americans are confused, right? So um, I'm gonna go to the next scripture real quick. Second Ezra chapter 15 verse 1. Say in the ears of my people, the words of prophecy. Which that's do, which that we that which that's what that's what we're doing right now. You know, as far as being outside every week, you know. Um being being on um being in study groups, you know, being um putting videos up, you know, doing lessons. That's part of speaking the words of what I put in thy mouth because the Lord will sup with us through angel, the angel in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? To, 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 to calculate our minds to speak to the people out here, man. What's going on? Said the Lord, right? You say, and cause them to be written in paper. Which the paper? What's paper? What's it talking about? And cause them to be written in paper, which is the scriptures. For they are faithful and true. The reason why it's faithful and true because the scriptures say what? Like I just read Isaiah 30 and 1. You know what I'm saying? Both that go down to each for help. Which you jakes do that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go for help and y'all believe in this society. You know what I'm saying? And it's faithful and true. And that's prophecy. Because without prophecy, what? It ain't gonna, you know, well, it ain't gonna amount to nothing without prophecy. Because prophecy gotta it gotta it gotta continue, you know. Feel not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, right? Let not the disbelief and all that. We don't care what you believe. But nothing like that, so it really don't matter, you know. All that talking crazy and scoffing, it don't trouble us because you know Yahweh Shai is gonna destroy y'all anyway, even though y'all believe it or not, you know. That speak against thee, right? For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, right? This basically this truth is based on faith. Most of you, most of, most of you Jakes don't have faith. Y'all have faith in Egypt, man. That's why the Lord don't. That's why y'all gonna die in y'all unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, say, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, which is martial law, the famine, which is the lack of food, death, and destruction, which is the I, 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 B, I, um, ICBM missiles. And then the chip's going to, the chip, before all that happened, you know, the chip is going to uh, come in as well, because that's a big prophecy too. The RFID chip. And y'all are going to get the chip because y'all can't, y'all don't have faith, man. For all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness. The reason why y'all are unfaithful because y'all gonna get that chip. You know, y'all gonna get the RFID chip. And that's part of y'all faith. And that's part of y'all uh <laughs> going down to Egypt for help as well. Say for the wickedness, for the wickedness how exceedingly pollute the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Right? So this world is more wicked and wickeder than wicked. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Like I said before, that um, these EBT cars, man, they getting shut off. They own way to get shut off. And how y'all gonna feed y'all families? You know how y'all gonna feed y'all kids? You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna take that chip? You know? So snap EBT down. So they doing a they they actually doing it's a malfunction thing going on. Like, a lot of people going crazy. Most of you Americans gonna go nuts. Y'all going nuts right now. Y'all commenting. Y'all on comment boards and you know what I'm saying complaining and all that. But 
when they actually shut all this stuff down, when they close all the stores down, all the um, businesses and shops, it's going to be hell, man, out here, man. And that's the, and, and, and this is the last evil days that we're living in. And plus, if you're not the elect and the Lord ain't give you this word through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, I was shy, then you shit out of luck. All right. With that. I like to say, call her long, y'all by Shema was shy. Double honors to the elders, apostles, a great meal song. And salutation to the brothers that's pushing this truth, man. We're almost out of here. Yeah, the push. Shalom.